I had experience in this uh, textile trade since 1997 but eventually if we can talk about the Mahin textile this is uh, uh, established in 2010 and uh, we have got uh, like 13 years journey and uh, after the 13 in January last year we've been installed a complete vertical uh, uh, one of uh, the best uh, processing unit here in Faisalabad Pakistan having uh, 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 the eco-friendly environment as well as the sustainability challenges uh, uh, for the global world right now so this is a little bit uh, introduction about the Mahim textile Basically, when uh, we were uh, we were selecting uh, uh, the machines for our uh, processing unit uh, in 2021, <coughs> yeah, 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, we've been selected uh, all the machine. When we are uh, we were selecting, uh, you know, uh, the flatbed. At that time, we realized that you know there might be the flatbed uh, machine is now more uh, beneficial uh, for uh, the future needs because ultimately there is some uh, restrictions uh, in terms of the color number of colors uh, as well as some technicality. There is a huge rejections uh, uh, in terms of that. You know you have to uh, your cost is not uh, viable. At that time, we can stop uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, the flatbed and then we can start uh, thinking about the digital printing machine. And when we have got a uh, meeting with the several suppliers with the digital uh, printing machine, we've been, uh, uh, the most of them is from the European. Uh, then we decide, you know, from the reactive uh, to panel, having more flexibility into the production like we can uh, print any of uh, the composition either we can do 100% cotton, 100% polyester, cotton rich or the poly cotton while we have got restriction in um, um, you know in the reactive where we can do only the 100% uh, cotton prints so uh, as well as uh, uh, compared to uh, the flatbed uh, this digital pigment printing machine we been realized uh, with the passage of time when we made some cost calculation you know that nowadays uh, the quantities are reduced from the customers they've been asking uh, small quantities you know for the uh, for each design and they want to put uh, the maximum design into the container so when we calculate uh, uh, you know the cost comparison with this digital uh, carriage uh, with the flatbed so we found, you know, some customer, if someone asking about the 700 set or 1000 set, so we are uh, around 15% cheaper uh, than, uh, uh, you know, compared to the flatbed machine. Uh, we've been uh, compare this uh, machine with the, uh, with the flatbed and uh, we've been uh, find out in the small quantities uh, uh, price reduction or the, the cost uh, you know economical compared to the flatbed is about 15 percent so that was the reason basically we can just uh, leave the digit uh, you know the flatbed machine and we go for uh, the carriage at pigment uh, digital printing machine When we were uh, deciding uh, the machine for our processing unit, we made some uh, cost analysis and comparison. So I can just uh, tell you a few of them. For example, the flatbed uh, printing machine take a huge space as well as uh, there is a huge uh, backup like for the screens and uh, the engraving take a, a huge space. And uh, ultimately you have, uh, the, you know, you have a uh, uh, rejection you know the rejections over there on the flat belt so when we analysis you know these things then we have decided you know this is a good uh, to go with the carajet pigment digital printing machine and we can get uh, the printed uh, panel printing uh, into that rather than we can go for the flat bed and uh, as currently the machine is running and we are uh, satisfied with that
regarding the payback period is depend on uh, your business how quick uh, you know the customer can uh, realize that you know this is uh, uh, the machine which is uh, for the future uh, because uh, when we decide that machine if we can just compare with the uh, the digital printing machine with the reactive printing machine that uh, you know that take uh, you know the liquor ratio the water consumption uh, is much much lower than the, the the reactive digital printing machine and uh, uh, you know that's the reason we've been go for that because when we make uh, analysis and decision in our board we realize that you know in next seven to ten years might be the all export textile business move on 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 the on the pigment digital printing machines compared to uh, the reactive digital printing machine That's very straightforward machine. Uh, that's digital, you know. Uh, there is uh, some technicality on the designing side where you can have, you know, the good design team who can feed the design um, to the machine to get uh, the proper colors and uh, the results. Uh, this is much easier, uh, you know, compared to the conventional printing uh, machine. Although the cost is more than if we can compare with the, the rotary printing machine, the cost is more than that. But ultimately, that's very straightforward, very easy to use. The Carajet is, is basically a Spanish machine and uh, we are using the ink from Itaca. The Itaca, uh, the inks are very good in terms of uh, the shelf life, in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of the prices as well as the good thing with that Itaka that is that you know their all inks are got certified so the customer cannot pay anything additional for uh, you know for the got certified inks we made a, a multiple um, experiment uh, when the machine was on the commissioning for example, we can print uh, one design uh, on the polycotton, on the cotton, on the uh, cotton ridge or the 100% polyester. So we did not uh, find a huge uh, difference between that. That is, a, you know, is a morely, you know, close uh, within the different composition and the different qualities, uh, which is, uh, you know, is, a, is, a, is a fall into the commercial tolerance, but it, it, the result was uh, the excellent. Uh, regarding uh, uh, the Carajet after sales service, uh, it's, uh, it's excellent because whenever we can send the Mercury uh, for any problem or any you know difficulty we are finding because this is the first machine in Pakistan, so uh, the first priority to send the engineers to fix up uh, uh, the issues, and we had multiple experience. They came and. Uh, uh, this is not because of that the machine had an issue because this is the first machine my, you know our, our operator our uh, you know the team uh, has to understand about this machine and uh, this machine have got the internet connectivity you know and uh, most of them you know the problem they can uh, rectify or uh, you know the, you know address on online as well In the Pakistani industry, they have got the reactive uh, digital printing machines, and as I explained to you earlier, the reactive printing machines uh, uh, consuming a huge water uh, level, which ultimately, you know, the concern for the for the retail stores, they are very much conscious and uh, concerned about the water reduction, and uh, this machine is uh, comparatively is much much better than. Uh, uh, the reactive digital printing machine and as I uh, thought or I, I can see uh, you know this technology might be come over on the reactive next seven to ten years. <laughs>